Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, hello. We're back again with a friend who, um, you know, your first name only, you know, you have such an interesting name. And for those who don't know, Binky Weatherby DeColibus. Is, well, you um, know her name really isn't Binky. Well, <laughs> I, she is you know, Binky. Yes, yeah, she is Binky she's to Binky. us. Yeah. And to those who know Binky in town, I mean, I just love that nickname. It's just so cool. Mm -hmm. But thanks for coming out this morning. Just happy yeah. to have you join us and chit-chat with us today. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Binky, let's talk a little bit about you here in Hopkinton. Because um, there's a lot that I don't know. I've gotten to know yeah. you, but not really your, your history here. Uh, How long have well, you guys been, been in town? I've been in town for about uh, 35 years. Oh, jeez. Wow. Um, when we moved here, we had the child the age of the babysitter, and everybody else had the babies. Mm -hmm. Yep. So <laughs> we didn't really know anybody. Our daughter didn't go to school in town. Uh, she was already in a school when we moved here. So we never really met anybody. Mm -hmm. um, our neighbors, and we have really great neighbors yep. all around us, and those are the people that we knew. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, nothing across the street until yep. they all got built up. So. It's changed. Yeah. And You're on beautiful um, Front Street. Mm -hmm. And I'll give it away and then we'll talk more about it. But sure. Binky is, is the founder of Front Street Concerts, which you will be hearing mm -hmm. a little bit kind about of a house today. House party. House party uh, in a really cool way. I mean, Thank you. I've had the opportunity to go uh, recently. First time was, was last summer. And then mm -hmm. I went to a concert just the other week. And if you haven't been, it is a wonderful experience here in Hopkinton at your beautiful home that you graciously open to incredible musicians and to music lovers from all around. That's thank you. To so back up, yeah. And let's talk a little bit about you. And so you guys moved to town 35 years ago, but your husband's from around here, but you're not so much. Right. My husband's from Framingham. All those Decolibuses are all related, same Grammy. <laughs> um, but I was born in Turkey and came back to the States and lived in a couple places. And then um, I was in Framingham until I was nine and then grew up in Japan until I was 18. So, so how did you and your husband uh, meet? <laughs> Miss International. Oh, no. <laughs> you were far away. I mean, my, my our friend said, I know a person whose dad will get us some beer. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but the thing is, we had just come from Japan where that was okay. So my husband, who didn't drink or anything like that, um, well, was, it was just like a cool school. thing like you could be doing, <laughs> right? But you, you, know, you but, were a kid. But I mean, you were a, young, I was, I, yeah. an older teen or something. Yes. Right, well, the drinking right. age was 18 at the yeah. time. Right. Yeah. In Japan. So, <laughs> so it wasn't really, I mean, I'm, the US. I don't remember that, but... But he remembers that as a as a thing. So anyway, <laughs> that's that. And um, um, got married very young. Got married at I think nineteen. Then wow. we bought a house in Ashland. Mm -hmm. And um, you were like the cool kids. We yeah. were like the kids of the age of the kids that we were. Yeah, just we had to wait till we were twenty one to buy a house. Yeah, so. <laughs> Wow. Um, we didn't know that until our first house fell through because. Oh wow. We, we, so we were sitting there passing. Um, they said, oh, you can't sign these papers. You're not old enough. So we had to wait. Right. And then we bought a house in Ashland and um, had our daughter a few years later. And we're looking around for something that was just different and looking towards Hopkinton and bought our house from a, a friend that my daughter went to school with. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's been a changed town. Sure. Know? In 35 and, years, yeah. Um, you know, our street, people were... Uh, horses were walking down the street, mm -hmm. people were cross-country skiing down the street, and now, <laughs> really, you don't park on the street right, now, right, so it's yeah. really it's different. Uh, it's, you can tell when Waze is, um, you know, projecting, a, like, uh, traffic predicting back, a traffic yeah. back up on 495 because we are now a cut-through, so right, right. Um, sure. it's different, oh, but, yeah. um, you know, it's... Uh, we really are starting to meet the people more the past few years mm -hmm. um, to meet this all the different the people. the fourth season of Front Street Concerts, right? This is the tenth season. Tenth, tenth okay. season. So, so I've been going yeah. about four years. So yeah. back up to your interest in music and mm -hmm. how okay. that all... Um, went to a house concert in Worcester with a friend from Japan, and I'd never heard of it. 
and it was potluck, which is the tradition of house concerts. And I, mm -hmm. I like to tell people that yeah. because we do it differently, but the tradition is, is uh, potluck. And uh, everybody participates in that way. And so I had never seen it. And there was this musician, Mary Lou Ferrante, um, doing a beautiful living room performance. And I just thought, I, I, I'd like to do this. And mm -hmm. uh, I just invited people. It was a Saturday before um, uh, Christmas. It was swine flu season. It was, <laughs> And I thought, I think I'll just do the food if there's going to be some source of Illness, I might as well right. claim Keep it. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I it. And I do like to cook, so um, I just made it. We had 45 people. I wanted to make sure people just showed up and not worry about, oh, I was going right. to bring something, and now I didn't, didn't make it. I've been shopping all day. So we got that done, um, and we did that. We had uh, John Short, um, and then um, we saw Danielle Moralia at uh, Tecan and Natick, and we just thought we would like to have her. We asked her. We were nervous about asking her. She agreed to do it. But as we were watching her, we thought, she's going to put a hole in the wall of the house. So <laughs> we've got this empty barn that has cars stored in it during the summer. It's empty all summer. So it's so just an empty space. Could she do something? And my husband said, I'll put up a stage. We'll put in some carpeting. I said, I'll make a backdrop. She'll do, you know, he'll put in some lighting, whatever, and we just took the doors off the barn and invited people, and that. And then it comes kind of full <laughs> circle now because Danielle's who's playing Saturday night. Danielle, she has a standing gig. She's the only person that we've told her it's her show. She has something every summer with us. Her husband came, Tom Bianchi. He set up our sound system. He's pretty well known in the Cambridge, Somerville, our music, our chosen music area. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Um, and he came and he could see this big group of people. And he said, um, you know, you guys are you're doing a great thing here having Danielle every summer, but you guys really don't know anything about music. And he was really right. He said, there's so much going on, you really don't know about it. So he said, you need to get into town. So we made a point. I was teaching at the time at a Montessori school. And we made a point for the rest of the summer to just go out every single or two or three venues every night, which is kind of the custom. Mm. And, um, and just How many years educate ago was herself. That? This probably was five years ago. Mm -hmm. okay. So Daniel shakes it up this time. She has a band called the Glory Junkies. Um, she's going to bring two of them. Last year she brought her full band. Right. And she just, she's very well known and she delivers a great, in fact, she did a Real Housewives show. That's right. Yeah. And so oh, that made oh, me right. so much fun. Uh, and actually that was the first time you had them. And I think yeah. that's kind of that, um, the whole community supporter thing, that yeah. the people who came to that, all the, they don't realize is that 100% of the revenue went to the musician. Yeah. And that even everything that you do, 100% yeah. of the revenue goes to the musicians yeah. to support local music. Well, this donation. is marvelous, yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I like to cook, so um, I do the food for everybody. So if it's, you know, an in-house concert can be up to 80 people, mm -hmm. a barn concert, can be up to 150 people, mm -hmm. um, and we just the one two weeks ago you had what 120 yeah, plus yeah it was gorgeous. And, um, we'll be close to that this weekend. Um, so the barn, the doors are off the barn for the summer. Uh, if it rains, we put up a big tent. We have a food tent, you know. So, um, but for us, uh, it is about use of best use of space, and right. I think everybody has some sort of space that they have. It's so um, and what can they do with it? Right, Just and I think, think it reminds me of space. when you talked about Somerville and Cambridge, where it reminds me of some stuff that also, it happens there, it happens in the south, are called porch fests and porch concerts, yes. where people, like, you, you can wander around a neighborhood, different mm -hmm. bands are at different blocks. Holliston right. is doing that I, now. I went um, to one in Holliston yep. where my friend Ricardo Barrazzo played yes. at one. And, um, but you're funny how you describe, you know, oh, we, you know, Fixed up the barn. We took up the doors. We threw in some carpet. Blah, blah, blah. It is gorgeous. Your okay. your the landscaping in your yard is beautiful. It, it's, it we'll, no, show, it's we'll have some pictures yeah. on the website. They have a oh fire yeah, pit a fire pit. Oh it's my trans god! Translate that's a rusty thing that we we actually replaced this year with something that'll be rusty by the end of this. Year. Uh, all the it, no, it's lovely. It's like, we Such have had the best space. neighbors, and uh, I have to the tell one you with the chairs. Uh, yeah, there's Rick and Trish Jacobs are um, have brought their Adirondack. Everybody thinks there are these beautiful Adirondack chairs that they yeah. lug over on their heads, 
Oh. And Rick came over to help me last week cook. He wanted to do some cooking. He's recently retired and uh, he's an artist as well and so he just we just had fun in the kitchen and to me my happy place is in the kitchen yeah. you had um, your daughter on the grill daughter working the grill. this this weekend uh we have um melissa's working my the daughter's show. working the show uh we have uh mckenna gray who's all a former preschool student of mine <laughs> uh john fitzgerald will be manning the grill so we have a Hopkinton group, um, Kelly Sakura was going to be working the show, but she has an, another commitment. She'll be back, as, uh, she'll be there as soon as we can. Um, so, um, the food is delicious. A wide array of things. Uh, uh, you're kind of guinea pigs. I'm, I'm, starting, I'm going to try a new one with a quinoa tonight with, mm, um, with roasted sweet potatoes and apples. So, that's going to oh, be a new one this night. Nice. Uh, and, and some people do bring food, do they? Um, so, uh, we did one last September where we had a performer from France, and I just said, whatever goes, goes. I actually didn't know much about his music, but he had toured with Girls, Guns, and Glory. They're their tour people and when they go to Europe. So um, we just said, he was coming over. I said, let's just see what we can put together. He just yeah. loves anything American. I said, you guys have no idea about the music. Let's just come and be supportive, uh, bring, bring an American kind of dish. And that uh, was fun. Paige Lynn got up and sang on the stage unexpectedly, and she was so funny. Uh, I was think the, one, the other thing that um, you had done differently a couple years ago when you mentioned France is that you actually had an in-house artist for that um, winner. Um, had stayed with you, performed a lot, did a lot, and now he's what, I think he was in France, he was in Spain. Oh, Ansel an artist yeah. in residence. Yes. He started an artist in yeah. residence, mm. yeah. yeah. He's a harmonica player, and um, but a very unique kind of harmonica. He's very classical, and he can do anything, and so he can do all the bluesy stuff, um, but he does, I, I honestly am, okay. I know nothing about music, so this is this other thing. Well, Jerry, I say that. Jerry, Jerry plays, plays music. Guitar, yeah. He plays guitar. Your husband. Always, he can <laughs> read music. I know nothing. I can't keep a beat when I go to a show. He puts his hand on my knee and goes like this. And <laughs> to help I'll you. Say, Jerry, yeah. what do you what do you think I'm doing? He goes. I have no idea what you're doing, but I I it usually, makes you I feel usually keen matter. on a drummer. <laughs> and we don't have often have drummers. We had a lot more last summer. Um, and so I, I'll usually key in on a drummer, and uh, I've just had to educate myself, but I can't sing, I can't play an instrument, but I am a great appreciator. But actually embracing having an artist in house, yes. right. um, I think took it to another level too, having yes. Front Street concerts. And now I know there's myself, Donna Field, and a few others who actually follow Ansel around, yes. you know, in, in his, in in Europe a lot in his journey. Yeah. I mean, one of his big announcements was like two weeks ago, our, B &B, our Airbnb fell through. Does anybody know a place we can crash in, in Spain? In Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing that's really wonderful is you've created this real gem here in town. Mm -hmm. And what has started to spring from it is you've got the Front Street Concerts. We now have the HCA with their jazz series. Mm -hmm. yes. We have concerts on the a common, common yeah. in town. Yeah, this is a little music enclave. enclave yeah. And and I gotta tell you, the Front Street concerts were the It's know, a special treat. Uh, started it I, I don't think so, because also don't forget what Cheryl Peral has oh. done. Right. Oh I mean, absolutely. And I'm looking yeah. over here at the studio and I've never actually been in this section because I never knew this existed, but I have been there. And she has brought in she has so indeed. much music as well as well spoken word and poetry right, and right. Uh, some of my little preschool students did uh, we did a thing for peace and we did that so it has been there there have been uh, music at bittersweet there isn't mm -hmm. enough mm -hmm. and that's the problem there is I mean we were uh, approached about doing a, um, a a fundraiser at our home which we actually can't do we are so full of rules and it's not evident to people who come mm -hmm, that right. we do have to have an RSVP because we need to know I send out so a lot of right. um, I do all the really bad computer work mm -hmm. and, and um, booking that kind of stuff Jerry does all the grunt work. I mean, it's like this thing we both do. I do the cooking and he does the whatever. It sets up 80 chairs. And, and the sound <laughs> checking and stuff like that. But it is really pretty tightly controlled as far as we do it because right. it is um, we are on a busy street. No one can park on the street. And they have to know that. So the day before each show, I send out a very a concert-specific email for that show to those mm -hmm. people 
to let them know in case there are changes in parking or menu or this or that mm -hmm. that they should be aware of uh, so that things run smoothly, not just for us, but for the town and for the people. So it's the best experience for everybody. Absolutely. Um, but I want to see a porch fest here. I yeah, think we have great neighborhoods. Great. We have great musicians. There are emerging musicians. There are established musicians. There are musicians, you know, like the Hot Acoustics or Steve Spector, who have given back to this yes, town. Yes, right. Yeah. And over, over and over. Yes. You know? I mean, like Barbara Kessler and her husband oh, yes. with their yeah. barn. Oh, yes. And, and they, they do barn concerts. They do house concerts. Yes. They do so house they concerts. Yes. And, and um, actually, um, I yeah. recently spoke with Barbara about I doing a porch fest starting yeah. from her house and maybe, it do, because the homes don't have to be homes of musicians and that's right one yeah. of these people don't realize so like I've yeah. talked to like people that if you did like a loop around the common at the different homes that we could have it at mm. but still have like this kind of walk and maybe end up at a concert at a common or stuff like that yes. and they were very for it I know that there's someone on Grove Street is very positive about having their house involved but you know it can be in a neighborhood I mean like when I think of summer Somerville they divide it into three sections so from noon to two it's this section right. and mm -hmm. then everybody moves to the next section um, you know, two to four, and then four to six. And that's all put out by the um, Somerville Arts Council. Wow. Okay, mm -hmm. and they publish a map of what houses, what porches, and you know, it could be like a kind of a broken down pop-up tent. They don't care, people are standing around, their kids are running around, it's a great time. And you know, when I think of our, our town, it's easy to move into a garage or something. Right. But, you know, you right, just right, right. can't be fussy about it. Yeah. You know, but your your support um, of music and musicians, and we'll put it out on the website. But mm -hmm. you know, in, individuals that come, they have to RSVP. They, they, there's a yes. process, and the um, desired donation is twenty five dollars per person. It is twenty five, one hundred percent of the. We don't take money for food, right. and you know. For us, Which that's is an amazing been, donation that you do with all this food and all this press. It's but a house you, party. You, it's but a, yeah. <laughs> but you it's have amazing. to really keep it separate because we don't even do PayPal because, you know, the IRS would see it as income. Like, right. they wouldn't mm -hmm. see that it's outflow. I mean, it's like total outflow of money. Mm -hmm. But they would, you know, you just, so instead we are absolutely keep it separate. There can be, there can't be any, like, gray yeah. area right, right, for right. us. Mm -hmm. You know, other people might do it differently. Every venue is done differently. Mm -hmm. Every price is set differently. It's a suggested donation. Suggested donation. That's mm -hmm. kind of a legal thing because mm -hmm. you can't really set a price. So you mm -hmm. have to set a I mean there are little these little things that you don't Nuances. Really learn right. along the way. But for twenty five dollars, a full meal. Yeah. It, and, you great know, music. and great music yeah. in yeah. a beautiful setting. Venues. Bring your own chair. And, you know, it does and seem like a tanglewood awesome. yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Other than a party because right. it, is. it is more of a tanglewood kind of feel. It's a listening venue and we say, mm -hmm. you know, if you're going to chat, because some people like that as background music. Mm -hmm. Can nope. you move by the fire pit or up yeah. on the decks? The music mm -hmm. can be heard yeah. well from all over, but we are primarily, a, you know, yeah. a listening venue. If people need to dance, we open up the side door of the barn, <laughs> and they can dance over there badly behind a, a shrug or There something. you go. You That's know, awesome. But I also would like to encourage other people in town to think about bringing an artist into their right. home. If they ever wow. need support, I would absolutely love 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 to help them set up something or put them in touch with musicians you know, or I, I i have to um, tell you i like i love <coughs> the backyard we have but there's just no parking mm, and yeah. like what would you That's do you have to yeah well the park at sandy beach yeah go yeah, walk yeah. you walk <laughs> I mean, but you do an afternoon I mean, then knowing you, you know don't what? want people walk at a night a lot of our people park at the jacobs house and we are very fortunate for them uh, they are the world's and best neighbors very quite nice. often i park they're on um, aparilla nice. road so yes, yeah and, and, and or aprilla and you know usually it's in our yard and people freak out driving you know all these people driving across our front yard into the backyard but if it's boggy, we can't park back there. Yeah. You know, right, that right. last year was fabulous, you know, mm -hmm. like bring on the drought. But, you know, <laughs> but, you know, and again, this is, you know, that's why I send out something the day before each concert. You just never know. Um, last year, we had an unexpected call from somebody who asked if we could have Jimmy Bavino, who was um, Conan O'Brien's band leader, and he's mm -hmm. with the Helm Band. Wow. And, um, cool. Just very fabulous. And so we put t something together last minute on a Friday night. It was a full house. It was great. And How he had the best time. He was, I have this great time in barns, you know. And he just loved it. And we were so pleased that we had such a great base of people that could come out. 
the great thing about local music, local live music, for people who need a sitter, you're not driving an hour into town right. and wasting that that time, right? You know, right. That money. I, I can't say waste mm -hmm. of money, but right. You know, but it's also but not it a. Adds to the. It's not a late night. It's right. you know six yes. to ten. Yeah, the music. The music is over by nine thirty. I will say that one time it went to eleven unexpectedly, burning down the house or <laughs> or psycho killer or something. At late was a little late, but <laughs> yeah, that was the only time, and. Um, and that was Tim Guerin's band, and we had. Is that the night where his daughter old, sang too? That was Tim awesome. Guerin's daughter Maggie Rose. Oh, she's so cute. Um, opened that show, and uh, Tim Guerin will be back in two weeks. It'll be our final show of the summer, and that's going to be a big show. He'll be back with his um, pretty a little. Um, he'll be back with Russell Chibna Chibnovsky, one of our favorite guitar players, and Dave Westner uh, to do more of an acoustic thing, but it mm -hmm. it will rock. And when you mention yeah. acoustic, that's actually been a new trend for this summer, this that summer, everything has yeah. been an acoustic summer, which has been right. very kind of relaxing. Mm -hmm. Right. We and were going to have a big musical wedding in October, a musician's wedding, and it was going to be oh, many, yeah. mm -hmm. many, many Boston Music Award winners playing, but it's off. So, uh, so we <laughs> the whole wedding's off. <laughs> the <summer. laughs> the wedding's off. Okay. No. No. But it's okay. We have kind of planned the summer around that. and. Yeah. Um, but it's okay. So, but it's also um, made it a very kind of relaxing. It's a I, I even movie. at the last concert did a fix up. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> did it work? This um, is well, they're, right plan they're planning on meeting tomorrow night, um, Saturday uh, night again. Yeah, uh, her hidden talents, a matchmaker. <laughs> and I, somebody said, you know, we were thinking about selling our house, and yeah, we really want to move to a similar house. We're thinking about, but we just. We really do oh. like going to those concerts all the time, and we just right. keep thinking what we would be missing that if we didn't have didn't it. Have that, yeah. I never knew that, but we're we are fortunate, and that's all I can say is that we've been very fortunate to uh, have a piece of property with empty space, and what could we do with it? And that's yeah. how it started. There's a lot of need for space, for whether it's a musician or just anything. You know, this is what you guys do. You network. Mm -hmm. You um, you. Pass along words. You have a great website. That mm -hmm. I mean, Facebook page that is like the source oh, for you. every. Thank I mean, you. I can't. Tell you. Jerry will say to me, "Can you check that Real Housewives thing? And who was that emergency plumber that could come right <laughs> in?" Right. And so, you know, it has been um, a great resource for everybody. And, and you, I on a, you actually well, reached out to us you. a couple, oh. several, a couple years ago when you were still co-owner of. Um, the Montessori not, school. I wasn't a co-owner. I okay. was not the, involved uh, in the business. Oh, okay. Um, okay. You're just, but the, um, there and to you were a teacher at the Montessori and school and um, yeah. had seen some of what we were doing and as when we just kind of launched off doing some community support partnerships and said, hey, can I get the school involved? And we're like, okay. <laughs> and it was neat. And then since then, it's grown. And now even Front Street has become kind of a community supporter to let yes, people yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, what's going on and because of those things you know we're very thankful of this collaborative that's been built mm -hmm. I mean um, just last week Connie got to like run around the field with Mike <laughs> Teresian the police the producer of our show here we were um, able to support um, keep smiling, smiling for, for Abby, Abby. Yes. And Connie we were, participated as well that was just me <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know we were able to do a sponsorship for that and um, mm -hmm. so just to, to clarify we appreciate your support and because you are a community supporter, what that has allowed us to do between the page participants, the community supporters, we've been able to put together and contribute to our local charities in right. town. Mm -hmm. And that is huge. Right. We did um, Keep Smiling for Abby last yeah. weekend. And, we're going to be sponsoring Live for um, And when I say we, it's a big royal we. I just like and we're facilitators of, of it. We yeah. provide a platform that has brought people together. And, you know, just, just like recently, you. we've been <laughs> able to. It really yeah. is the same thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And it isn't, uh, it isn't, it is truly not a, um, there's not a bringing back to us thing. It's about what can we do in the best yeah. way. We're, we're using what we have. Yeah. Um, you know, and you never know how it's going to unfold. Exactly. Just and you just you just kind of roll with it, and you you kind of have to figure things out as you go. That's what makes and Hopkinton such a special community. People like you, um, you know, so many others in town who give to the community um, selflessly, 
and it just makes this place a wonderful place to be. Yeah. And, and we just thank you immensely. Wow. You, you've been doing this for 10 years. Yeah. I just became aware of it a couple of years ago, and I'm sure our audience, there'll be yeah. so many people who are like, really? There's concerts it, on Front Street? It was deliberately under the radar. Yeah. Um, and when we met with, I think this is zoning board? It's a zoning, I'm not sure. What other groups? <laughs> what other what board? groups? It felt comfortable for me to talk about it. It was either going to go or not go. And I felt comfortable about what we did, that we were doing it in the best way possible. Mike Shepard got up and gave a little talk about, yes. um, you know, what is a house concert. He educated himself on it. Well, he said it wasn't his cup of tea, mm -hmm. but he could see no reason why, you know, he thought what we were doing was okay. But the town supports your Yes, and, and so venue. we, but we are very careful about that. And mm -hmm. so, um, but I will tell you that we it felt more comfortable being above the radar than under the radar, mm -hmm. even though that was, we are still careful. I would also say that we really didn't know, not many Hopkinton, Hopkinton people knew, but people all around knew about us, but not people in Hopkinton I'd until um, Anne Matina yes. uh, ah. knew Amy Black was one of her former students at Northeastern was going to be playing in our barn doing a Muscle Shoals review. And um, she uh, just kind of brought so many people in. And <laughs> there you go. Kind of where we met all the Hopkinton people. I think people actually that, that was about four years, years ago. And yes, it was the first time. And true. I came in with that group. And Beth I think, then introduced me to you. And, and, and I think things with music. He does. He well. does. They're not down uh, on our road. Twice a year, he does a, a, a party in his yard. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and we were there. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah, recently. And he had Snappy Dogs there this year. Oh, yeah. Uh, I would have missed that. That was the American. <laughs> that was the American Who revival. <laughs> yep. and then yes. he'll have hot acoustics in September. That's right. Yeah. This has been such a great conversation. It's not yes. quite over yet. Do we have any last-minute shout-outs that you want to do before we have to wrap? I mean, I think Five it is. Friends. It is a weekend of music coming up uh, between yeah. Front Street concerts, the jazz at um, HCA, HCA. Yeah. and um, I think it's called Jumba Joe or. Jumba, uh, Jumba Jive or Who something at um, Concerts on the Common. Oh, okay. Um, and those are winding down, too. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. you know. And there's typically music at the farmer's market, too. Oh, so yeah, on really Sundays. Really music, be surprised. So, yeah. yeah. Hopkinton, who knew? So it is, oh, a, yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a lot of music happening oh. this weekend. And, oh, and Spring Awakening, which is a show at HCA. Yep. It, it started last week, and it is going through this weekend again. Thanks so much Thank for being so with us, Thank you so Check out Front Street yeah. Concerts. They have a website, frontstreetconcerts.com. We'll put some pictures yeah. and some information about it. Um, but thanks for being here. Okay. And thanks for joining us.